Hello my dear students, friends and everybody else who is watching my video. Uh, as we are still in lockdown, I hope that you are keeping positive. I think one of the most important things is to keep our mind positive and that's why I have a new musical quiz for you. I have eight questions for you but the main question is can you name these famous composers? So I'm going to show you eight images of the composers and I will give you some interesting facts about their lives and I'm going to give you option A, B and C. Of course, one of them is the correct answer, which I will reveal at the end of the video. So, are you ready? I'm sure that you are. Let's start. I'm going to get my computer. I'm ready as well. So you will see the image next to me. So let's start. Question one. This composer and musician of the late Baroque period was born in 1685. He was admired during his life as a harpsichordist, organist and expert on organ building but he's now widely regarded as one of the greatest musical composers of all time. He's the creator of the keyboard pieces such as the Brandenburg Concertos, the Well-Tempered Clavier and Toccata and Fugue in D minor. He died of complications after eye surgery in 1750 at the age of 65. So, who was it? Option A, George Friedrich Handel. Option B, Johann Sebastian Bach. And option C, George Philip Telemann. Question 2. This composer, born in 1685 and died in 1757 at the age of 77, was an Italian composer. He is classified primarily as a Baroque composer chronologically, although his music was influential in the development of the classical style. He composed in a variety of musical forms, although today he is known mainly for his 555 keyboard sonatas. He spent much of his life in the service of the Portuguese and Spanish royal families. So, who was it? Option A, Domenico Scarlatti. Option B, Antonio Vivaldi. And option C, Domenico Alberti. Question 3. This composer was born in Salzburg in 1756 and died in 1791 at the age of 35. The youngest of seven children, he showed prodigious ability from his earliest childhood. Already played on keyboard and violin, he composed and performed before European royalty from the age of five. He loved elegant clothing and he wore a wide wig for most of his formal occasions. He enjoyed billiards, dancing, kept pets, including a canary, a dog and a horse for a recreational riding. His last composition, which he wrote portions of, Requiem, was largely unfinished at the time of his early death, the circumstances of which are largely uncertain. So, who was it? Option A, Antonio Salieri. Option B, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. And C, Josef Haydn. Now, question four. This composer was born in 1797 and died in 1828 at the age of 31. He was an iconic figure in bridging the classical and romantic periods. He showed uncommon gifts for music from an early age. His father gave him first violin lessons and his elder brother gave him piano lessons, but he soon exceeded their abilities. At the age of 11, he became a pupil at the Stadtkonvik school, where he became familiar with the orchestral music of the Haydn, Mozart and Beethoven, followed by studies in composition with Antonio Salieri. In his short life, he wrote over a thousand pieces of music and a large body of piano work. So, who was it? Option A, Franz Schubert. Option B, Robert Schumann. And option C, Felix Mendelssohn Bartholdy. Question 5. This composer was born in 1810 and died in 1849 at age 39. He was a virtuoso pianist of the Romantic period and wrote pieces for solo piano. He was called a poet of the piano. His professional technique was outstanding and his piano compositions were highly influential. He published his first composition at age 7 and began performing one year later. In 1832, he moved to Paris, socialized with high society and was known as an excellent piano teacher. Apparently, he didn't like performing. He only gave around 30 performances, mostly to his students and friends. On his death, his heart was taken back from Paris to Poland by his sister Ludwika. So, who was it? Option A, Franz Liszt. Option B, 
Frédéric Chopin and option C, Johannes Brahms. Getting to question six. This lovely lady was a composer and pianist of the early Romantic era. She was born in 1805 and showed prodigious musical ability and began to write music. She received her first piano instruction from her mother and as a 14 year old she could already play all 24 preludes from Bach's The Well-Tempered Clavier from memory alone. Her younger brother, also a composer of the Romantic period, shared the same education and the two developed a close relationship. Due to the reservations of her family and to social conventions of the time about the roles of women, a number of her works were published under her brother's name in his Opus 8 and 9 collections. In 1829, she married the artist Wilhelm Hensel, and in 1830, the two had their only child, Sebastian Hensel, named after Johann Sebastian Bach, who she admired as a composer. She died of a stroke in Berlin in 1847, with her composer brother himself dying less than six months later from the same cause. So, who was it? Option A, Clara Schumann. Option B, Fanny Dickens and option C, Fanny Mendelssohn. Almost in the end of our quiz, question seven. This composer was born in 1862 and died in 1918 at the age of 55. He's sometimes seen as the first impressionist composer, although he didn't like this term, he rejected this term. As he said, we must agree that the beauty of a work of art will always remain a mystery. We can never be absolutely sure how it is made. He was among the most influential composers of the late 19th and the early 20th century and was for the most part enthusiastic about Richard Strauss and Stravinsky, respectful of Mozart and he adored Bach, whom he called the good god of music. His relationship to Beethoven was complex. He was said to refer to him as a, the old deaf one and ask one young people not to play Beethoven's music for it is like somebody dancing on my grave. Hmm. His major works for piano include famous Claire de Lune, two arabesque, two books of preludes and more. He died from cancer at his home in Paris. So, who was it? Option A, Antonin Dvořák. Option B, Claude Debussy. And option C, Modest Musokski. And the last question of this quiz. The Russian composer, virtuoso, pianist and conductor was born in 1873 to the family of the Russian aristocracy in the Russian Empire. His family had strong musical and military learnings. For example, his grandfather was a musician who had taken lessons from Irish composer John Field. A composer himself took piano and music lessons at age four by his father. One of the composer's important influences was his sister Yelena, who had introduced him to the works of Tchaikovsky. Sadly, when Yelena died in 1885, the composer suffered further loss. His grandmother took him to a farm retreat by the Volkov River where he developed a love for rowing. At the conservatory, however, he had adopted a relaxed attitude and failed his general education classes and purposely altered his report cards in what composer Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov called a period of purely Russian self-delusion and laziness. Following the Russian Revolution, the composer's family left Russia and settled in New York City in 1918. He died four days before his 70th birthday in 1943. So, who was it? Option A, Bela Bartok. Option B, Igor Stravinsky. And option C, Sergei Rachmaninov. So, you got eight questions and I'm sure that you are very keen to hear the correct answer to this question, so let's start. So the answer to question one is Johann Sebastian Bach, option B. Answer to question two is Domenico Scarlatti, option A. Now answer to question three is, I'm sure that you all know who is the composer, it's Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Answer to four, Question four is Franz Schubert, option A. The answer to question five is Frédéric Chopin, option B. 
The answer to question six is Fanny Mendelssohn, option C. The answer to question seven is Claude Debussy, option B. And the final correct answer is Sergei Rachmaninov, option C. So you got the correct answers. I hope that you are happy with your results. I hope that you got many correct answers. And if you'd like to share with me, please um, let me know. You can text me or if you see my quiz on YouTube, you can write a comment. I would love to hear from you and I will be coming with a mu new musical quiz soon. Meanwhile, uh, have a nice and relaxing rest of the weekend and I'm wishing all of you a nice and happy and positive week ahead. And as I always say, stay positive and stay happy.